It's been changed indeed. 1,000 subscribers to JTJU. Thanks to everybody for making it happen. Let's see where we go from here. But today we've got a new attack review screencast. Episode 5, Pac-Man, Town Hall 9, mid-level, taking on an entry-level Town Hall 9 with a beautifully run Go Wipe Snipe. So let's get to it. But before we do, as always, give a high five to our backup band scooter with the appropriately named song 999. Because why? We're now at 1,000. Let's get to it. First off, let's make sure this is the right attack. At Town Hall 9, you got a few options. Holo, go low, la Lunian, go wee wee, go wee wee ho, go wipe and go wipe snipe. Why go wipe snipe in this one? Because it's a spread base, AD is centralized, and you got four or more defenses that are outside the thing. Plus, Pac-Man does not have max togs, or otherwise the holo might have been all right. So, he gets a green. Next point. We're going to be looking at the T-Duck. Trigger, drag, distract, and circle kill the clan caps. What you want to be doing is pulling, but also thinking about your initial snipes. Getting those down so you save your clock, and at the same time begin to shape the attack path where your go wipe component would push to the mid from. So you see here, Pac-Man releases that one loon at the cannon. That's good. Drops two for the mortar. Gets the Tesla as a bonus. And then the main force of three loons that Archer Tower pulls the clan castle. And then they begin to be drawn to nine o'clock with that Archer on the mine there. So everything's looking good. But let's pause for a second because this is the key part of the T-Duck. The efficiency of the kill. And what I like here is the usage of the two witches in the CC. He's only got a 25 CC, but he brings in two witches in a barb and then augments that with two wizards from his... Uh, inventory camps and that just rolls the CC that came out and it ends up that whole force is still available as you can see moving around and cleaning up the rest of that side that's a green next up we want to finish the cut so we can drive into the mid and that requires some stuff down at six you can see the giant being dropped there and then nicely placing the wizard such that it'll blow that dark elixir drill and then move over see how it timed there so then the wizards will actually move up and get that archer tower Make it simple, but it's not green. All right, now that we've built the highway of death, let's drive our go wipe up into their face, into the mid. First, you drop your golems and or giants. See how you have a few there because he didn't have enough for a full golem, but he did have enough for three more giants, and that's a good move. Then follow those up with your king queen, then your wizards, and they'll roll right in. Looks good. Green. So now we're down to the spells, and really that's kind of up to you. In this case, Pac-Man went with a jump heal and then the rage in the mid, but the key is that you get the spell set that gets your main go wipe into the mid and it survives there. In doing so, that allows your flanking teams to have less pressure, and when you release your snipers, they won't be under fire either, so you can get more done with less troops. Always good. Green. And then the last choice is where to release your snipers and how many make sure that when you do release the majority of what will wound them is distracted in this case we're trying to make sure that some of the archer towers are firing into mid that worked out and we didn't skimp out with the number of units and look at how they just plow through and take out the backside that the inside troops would have had a tough time getting to because of the walls green 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 great attack so as we watch Pac-Man's troop take their victory lap, just keep in mind, go wipe snipe. Anytime you see a base like this kind of spread with the buildings outside of range of the ADs, it's a good option. Works usually up through mid-level Town Hall 9, maybe max Town Hall 9, depends on the layout. All right, Brainiacs, that wraps up this edition. If you liked what you saw, give it a like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your parents, I don't know. But if you have more time in your hands, you can always check out the last screencast, which is also an attack review in that case, an 11 light attack of Town Hall 8, showing you how the slide effect can work. Or if you want a little serendipity, you can check out our new sub, one of our new 1,000. Thanks again, guys. Firebird47. He shows you an excellent north-south Town Hall 9 farming teaser base. I don't know if it works, but he's got a video, so check it out. Okay, guys, good luck in your clan wars. We'll talk to you soon. Scooter, dance on out of here, will ya?